Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to solve a trihedron cube. Okay, and I sometimes call this as a triple C, that is, uh, stands for triple curved, uh, triple C is triple curved cube. So, um, it's actually a trihedron. And as you can see, it is very similar. At the same time, it has its own differences when you compare it to a Rubik's Cube. In a Rubik's Cube, you have six, six faces, right? And you have six different colors. In this also, you have six faces, but you have only three colors. That's the uniqueness of this. That's why it's actually a little confusing when you shuffle it, it's a little confusing to know which piece goes where. So you have to just keep the color in mind and then according to that you need to solve it. I always started from yellow, okay, and I'm going to show you that. So for, uh, you need to keep in mind that there is uh, there are normal edges like this, like you have red, blue, red, blue, those type of edges. We have normal edges which is found even in Rubik's Cube. If it, you only have two corners which have three colors. Like here you can see one, two and three. Three colors, right? Same thing over here also. One, two and three colors. Okay, that's, uh, we have only two corners like this. One here and two. Okay? We only have two, uh, three colors corners. Others all have only two colors. Okay, uh, like one, two, three, four, five, six, six, six corners, which do not have three colors. Two have three colors, two have two, and uh, the rest of them have only two colors. And you need to keep in mind that there is uh, there is only one uh, there is a different type of an edge where it connects two same colors like yellow yellow are connected so it has this type of an edge this does not have two colors this edge does not have two colors okay so yellow yellow and in this cube we only have three of this type of a uh, edge one is for yellow red and blue so we only have this three and Mm, and in this cube we have only one parity and that parity is the corner orientation Where, uh, and this corner orientation uh, the parity how it occurs is like uh, after you finish solving the first layer second layer and when you come to the third layer that time uh, it's like um, two are in the correct spot and two are in the wrong spot like these are switched so that is that is the uh, parity that you get in this so um let's get into the solving you can use a beginner method or uh, pll or ol f2l whichever you want you can use but i'll be showing you in the beginner method so it will be easier for you to learn let me shuffle this and come back to you okay i have shuffled and i forgot to mention that you need to lo uh, know how to solve a 3 by 3 rubik's cube uh, if you do not know how to solve that 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube, I have left the links down below and you can learn it from how to, uh, from JPOM. Okay. Now, let's see. Now, as I have shuffled, I have shuffled this and I have made the cross. Okay. The first step of the beginner method. Same thing we're going to do over here. Now, it's going to be easy if you're going to do it on the uh, yellow, yellow side. Okay. Now, this, uh, this one has okay i need to insert an edge which has blue and yellow okay so now i see this is a blue and yellow edge normal however you put it inside now blue and yellow these are connected now let's turn here also we need a blue and yellow edge now let's find it okay it's over here place it here okay now we need an edge which connects yellow and yellow now where is that yellow yellow ah, here here we have the yellow yellow and we're gonna connect that okay yellow yellow connected now the last edge that is red and yellow now we need to search with the red and yellow here is the red and yellow and the cross is done now the next is corner orientation in the corner orientation the same way in the rubik's cube how you orient your corners same thing we're going to do over here here we have a cross 
Now let's see. Okay, we need an we need a corner which has an curved edge like one of its sides is curved and it needs to have red okay so we should search for the curved one yeah here is the curved one and now normal are you r prime are you r prime are you r prime okay see it fits perfectly so you need to check which color and what is this what is the shape of it so since it's curved curved and it needs to have red now let's go to the next one it has three colors so this need and so this needs a corner like this so let me see if this uh, you need to check because there are two corners with the same same uh, three colors so we need to check it so let me check are you are prime are you are prime okay luckily this was the thing this, uh, this is the correct corner now for this now let us see as you can see blue blue so this whole side is going to be curved so it needs a curved uh, curved side and a uh, yellow bottom okay and yeah we have the so uh, yeah okay the curved blue side and the yellow bottom next what do we have here okay we need a yellow curved and a blue side okay um let's see where is it yeah okay and it's here now we are finished with the corners now we have to do the edge orientation now we're going to do the edge orientation okay just like how we do it in the normal rubik's cube now let us see okay we need um okay this is not correctly put okay we need an edge which has red and yellow okay now normal way same three by three big dumb method okay next what do we need here okay blue and yellow bring out and place it properly okay blue and yellow edge now what do we need here blue blue so which we need we need the curved one and the curved one is over here i'm going to bring that out okay okay and the blue curved edges inserted and the red one is already been solved but if you want i'll solve it once again okay now my cross is already done but you need to see how it is hmm. you might get like this and some of you might think oh it's some type of a parity but I, even i used to think that when i first but when i was first solving it but then later i thought wait a minute this edge has only one color so no matter how much you flip it it's going to be red only so you are supposed to ignore this and then you have to only see this part so it is l you get the thing uh, straight line and now you have the cross now okay Let's see now first i always like to join the curved edge with the red one first i like to just attach these two and then later i try to solve it uh, luckily it has been solved Okay, I've unsolved the edges just to show you. Now this is not in the correct spot. This is these two are in the correct spot. The normal beginner method. Okay, and all the edges are oriented in the correct spot. See, all are in the correct spot. Now let us see. Okay, this one corner is in the right spot. Now let me oh okay sorry we have got the parity okay see i told you right two of the uh like two are in the correct spot how do we know it is in the correct spot see it has a red curved and it has it has a red curved and a uh, blue side and we need a red curve over here with a blue side because as you can see this is a blue side and here you can see that here we need a blue curved 
corner with a red side okay so this is the same thing a blue curve with a red side but here you can see this needs to go over here and this needs to go over here as you can see one two three three colors so it needs a three colored corner and it is over here and here we need a red curved uh, side with a yellow face that is here so this has been flipped this is not an algorithm but it's just uh, a moment you can just see it and then just understand it and try to do it okay so first you need to see is that since we have finished yellow and we have come up what do you see first you see that there's one two three three edges with the same color red blue red blue red blue so to flip one of the corners you need to do this algorithm okay l u l prime u prime okay now what i have done is i have replaced wait i'll show you mm. so what i had done is that i have switched like this is one of the edges okay this edge i have flipped uh, this was the edge that was there before over here what i've done is i have flipped i have brought the edge which was over here this side and then this has gone to the top so now we have flipped one of these corners now we have got an l normal i've created a cross orient your okay orient your edges and now you'll be able to solve the corners okay this is there see the parity is gone okay so all you need to do is over here all you need to do over here is just when you rip like exchange one of these edges with the same color that is when uh, one of these corners will get flipped and when the one of the corners get flipped the parity will be uh, you'll be able to solve it in a normal uh, beginner method uh, if you want i'll show it to you once again so now what will i do these two edges okay what i'm doing is l u l prime u prime okay let me show it to you again Wait a second. Sorry about that. I had made a mistake uh, on the algorithm that I, that I had done. What, so as I was saying, what you're doing is you're just rip, you're just exchanging the edges. When you do this exchanging of the edges, one of the corners will uh, flip. So when you flip one of the corners, that is when you get a situation where uh, four are solved, or uh, four are solved, or one is solved. So you get the type of a case. So that's it for today. That's how you solve a trihedron uh, cube. Please like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions, you can leave it down in the comment section below. And I have, I'll be writing down the uh, uh, algorithm, but the positioning, you need to see it in the video. The algorithm, I, would, I will write it down in the uh, description box. And the video of how to solve a 3x3 cube also will be in the description box. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.